Hey everyone, it's Mindy Hahn, the Midwest Premier Sports Handicapper, coming to you from TonySpicks.com and the half of the morning show duo, The Morning Steam with Ramon Scott. Uh, but hope you enjoy this free pick video from our show. Uh, be sure to click in the link in the description for our best bets. Now here is the pick. Marlins, Diamondbacks. Well, it's a pretty interesting matchup as well. Uh, maybe not the best teams, but uh, teams that are performing pretty okay right now. And you definitely have Gallon, who's been you know stellar, and uh, Garrett's been pretty decent too. So still have a Diamondbacks, a huge favorite here. I, Gallon's awesome. I get it. But what can you say about this $2 favorite here, Mindy? <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I think the Diamondbacks have been playing pretty well. I mean, they, you know, gave it up uh, on the long ball there, you know, to the Nationals yesterday to lose that one. Uh, I think the Marlins are the ones that are kind of, you know, suffering a little bit offensively. Uh, they scored some runs, you know, versus the Cubs, but um, I think Allen's pretty good here in this one. I I don't want to uh, go ahead and do a, a minus 200, uh, so I'll take the Diamondbacks here. I'll lay the run and a half with Gallon here today, uh, about plus, uh, I guess it's about even money here. Okay, yeah, I mean, um... Head to head, it does look like a reasonable to have this team as a big favorite. The teams come in on Miami. The Sharps are obviously going to just take a number here uh, with these two. Uh, you know, Miami. I try to give them some respect. I, I, you know, I give them respect. Right. Well, sure. How are they doing it? I mean, we know that for whatever reason. And look, Sandy turned it around, uh, right? Just like we knew he would. I mean, one game doesn't mean anything, but the way he looked, you know he can just kind of go on a roll probably. Now, Garrett's been uh, pretty good, but some of those Arizona right-handed bats can be pretty tough. Uh, uh, Garrett, awesome, again, you know, pretty darn good, let's just say, against left-handers, but the righties, you got to figure, might have a spot against him here. So, uh, I don't know. Too high of a price for me, even on the – even on the run line at uh, even money uh, moves Ben to Miami. I'm going to take the under in this one. Steam came in on the over and maybe that's why we've seen to go up to eight and a half. Uh, I might've even went premium here, but since I can't, I don't doubt that Arizona's, you know, in a good spot. I mean, I just think the price is too high. I can't play it. And so I'll take the uh, under as my play here on the show with lots of people liking this game, it looks like. Right. And it's uh... – <laughs> Cordae. <laughs> talking about Foster there. Uh, Francisco, <laughs> Diamondbacks run line. Burley, Diamondbacks first five. Solo's ready to get on Gallon here. Butterscotch is with you. Mindy has a lock here. It's all about the Diamondbacks. I'm by my. I'm going to be by myself in this one. And uh, boy, I also, I'm not going to fade you guys. I was kind of thinking Marlins were a great price to get involved in a premium, but you guys are so solid on this game. I will let the our great chat sway me a little bit, Mindy. Maybe not on to getting on it with you. Yeah, maybe take it off, I guess. <laughs> if I could see this money line, you know, get down. And it is down to a dollar, like I said, dollar ninety, maybe a dollar ninety-five, which to me actually is a discount. I saw this thing open as high as two thirty-five. So those were early numbers that got pounded by the sharps. They they like taking a price like this. So that at least that's the way I see it. Okay, a couple more, one more opinion here with Zane says under and Diamondbacks. Mindy, what'd you think of that incident with Jokic and the uh, Suns owner uh, yesterday? Did you get a chance to see that? Yeah, I don't really know. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of caught it a couple different times. I didn't see it live when it happened, right? <laughs> um, so I don't know. What was it? Did he like push him and then he attempted to get the ball back over his head? I mean, I don't know what kind of happened there. Right. So, you know, the play ends and uh, you know how in basketball, sometimes you go with 
uh, you grab the ball and you want to inbound it. That wasn't going to happen in this case. There was just too much commotion. They were going to have to inbound the ball. You know, the ref probably had to bounce it once and give it to the guy. There's no reason Jokic has to go and get that ball. It's not like the other team just scored a goal in soccer five minutes into extra time and they need to rush the ball to the center. I and get it. So, But, you know, uh, Jokic, whether he knew at the moment or not, he might have known who the Suns owner is. <laughs> but when you're over there – you know, and he's a brand new owner too, but um, so the ball goes over and it's actually in the owner's hands for a moment after it gets, and so Jokic re reaches to grab the ball, like, why, you know, there was a little bit of people yell, you know, just typical yeah. fun emotion for a minute, and then the ball is, Jokic wants to grab the ball and get the game restarted. doesn't matter what he does, that uh, the, the Official is going to probably have to touch the ball, so it doesn't matter how long it takes five seconds, 10 seconds, 20 seconds to get everything restored. But Jokic wants, and so when Jokic reaches to get the ball, the owner who just he's whole, you know, he kind of held and the ball goes flying. And Jokic, in a moment of haste, which you know, <laughs> just moves his arm forward to like move the guy a little bit, which happens to be the son's owner. And he and the son's owner, a former basketball collegiate basketball player, by the way, a walk on at uh, on the Michigan State championship team uh, years ago, uh, kind of, I think, with the Mateen Cleves team, I think. Was that. <laughs> so he goes tumbling down like he knows how to fall. And, uh, you know, so that's really the gist of the incident. But you know both were kind of out of line but i don't know if that should result in a technical in the game because he's not you know i, I guess if you, you go into the state you could get a technical and things so let's keep going anybody else did he get a technical uh, jokic did get a technical he did okay for his actions with the okay. uh, fan i guess you know with the owner okay no, I don't know why I brought that up just now, but. Uh... <laughs> so thanks for watching and make sure you get over to the Tony'sPicks.com website right now and check out our all cappers tab where you can purchase some of our own personal picks and be sure to go ahead and use the promo code Tony T at checkout to save at 20%. Okay. Have fun. Watch another video. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.